Hello everybody, welcome back to Bring Life Indoors, it's Moira here. Um, yeah, welcome back to my channel, thank you so much for joining me. Um, thank you for subscribing to my channel, thank you for liking my videos, and thank you for your comments, they mean a lot, I really, really appreciate them. Um, today I'm talking about bamboo palm, also known as areca palm, palm, not plum, <laughs> and butterfly, butterfly palm, golden cane plum, and palm. I keep on saying plum, and yellow palm. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm talking about today. I've had this plant in my house for a while. This was my first one. I'm going to try and pick it up. It's heavy. So, this is my this was my first one i've lost a stem here recently which was inner it's so painful when you lose something from a plant you like you love it's painful it gets to my heart but anyway the rest of the plant is still here it's doing well hopefully i'm not losing anything anytime soon of it <laughs> i'm hoping so yeah, I thought I would just take you through what I've learned and what I'm not saying I'm there, I'm still learning. I don't think you can never you can ever say you've arrived when it comes to plants really. Um but I'm just going to share with you what I've learned so far and how I'm taking care of them. So um they are lovely plants. They are not difficult to take care of, but also they are not easy. I wouldn't, I wouldn't list them uh, under my easy to care for plants, to be very honest. If I were to do an easy to care for video, these won't be featuring, according to me. Maybe there's someone out there who says they are easy for them, but me, I wouldn't list them. I wouldn't as easy to care for plants, definitely not. Um, but are they difficult? No, they are not difficult. <laughs> Why are you not saying they're easy then? <laughs> they're not easy. <laughs> I don't find them easy. Um, but uh, once you get to know what they like and what they don't like, then life becomes, life with them becomes easy. If I may put it that way, you know. So, um, I'm just going to take you through what they prefer and um, what keeps them happy and alive. <laughs> so um, they don't tolerate neglect at all. They don't. They're not your Chinese evergreen where you can leave them alone and they'll be happy to be left alone. No, not these ones. They don't tolerate neglect. They don't like to be neglected at all. The minute you neglect them, they will show you that, hey, I don't like it. And how will you sneak, how will you know that? They will start browning at the tips. And if you don't do something about it, if you don't stop neglecting them, that browning continues to grow and grow and grow until you've lost the leaf. <laughs> I believe you. Yeah. No, they will complain. Definitely. They will put up a show you know um so they don't they don't tolerate to be neglected at all they don't like to be neglected they like that you pay attention to them you pay attention to their needs you check on them regularly you know yeah so if you can do that then you have a happy plant in your hands um they like to be on the moist side of things soil wise they don't like the soil to dry out completely they like to be on the moist side of the of things they like the soil to be kept moist not soggy because again if you keep if it sits in water then you're going to be dealing with root rot so they like the soil to be kept moist not soggy not soggy at all i've made my notes so please excuse me when i keep on looking down i've made my notes that i don't forget anything so um uh, it's important that um while they like to be kept soil there's 
while they like the soil to be kept moist, it's important that you allow the plant, you allow the soil to dry out lightly, lightly in between waterings. Let it dry out, like not bone dry. <laughs> you, they won't like that. Don't let the soil go bone dry, but let it dry out a few inches, you know, between waterings. Um, they will appreciate that a lot. And, um, and uh, um, you know, don't overwater it. Don't, mm -mm, they don't like that. Then you're going to be in trouble. You know, the roots will rot. The other thing is that we, that was water and that was soil, you know, water, um, how to keep your soil, you know, so that the moist loving plants. Now let's talk about light. Um, they don't like direct sunlight because then the sun will scorch the leaves. It will really burn the leaves. Now, if, if you have one sitting where you get direct sun, rather have a, a curtain, uh, through uh, on your window that the sun filters through or have blinds that the sun filters through that it doesn't get that direct uh yeah sun on them at least let it feel let it let it be filtered then they'll be fine otherwise they also do well in bright light now i have mine sitting in my lounge in a bright light um uh, uh, corner and I have one in my bedroom bright light condition and I also have one in my bath bathroom it's getting bright light um, it's actually getting uh, some sun but I have it filtered through blinds and then I have this one sitting also at the entrance area and it's getting bright light now yeah so that's that's your light requirements when it comes to these beautiful palms you know um they require bright light and if 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 you if if you have a uh, a spot where you're getting direct sun let it filter through let it be a filtered you know uh one you know have a lace or a, 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 a um, blinds or some sort of something to block most of that sun that it doesn't scorch your leaves and the other thing is that uh that was light now let's talk about your temperature what i've seen is that they are okay with normal warm normal warm room temperature they do fine i've seen with mine they do fine with a normal warm room temperature they don't have a problem with that you know um yeah um so again i'm talking about my conditions here at home you know and um uh, feeding i feed mine every two weeks i use sea grow with all my plants i with all, all my indoor plants i use sea grow so i feed mine every two weeks you know and um yeah and the other thing is uh let's talk about what am i forgetting what am i forgetting soil it likes a well-draining soil you know it's important if you're gonna repot your bamboo uh your your bamboo or areca palm or, they like a well-draining soil give them a well-draining soil not a soil that holds on to uh, water you know they love a world draining soil um yeah so that's that um the other thing i wanted to mention is you might find that you get brown tips and you don't know what's causing the brown tips on your palm now like i mentioned earlier they don't like to be neglected and if you neglect them neglect them for a while they will talk they will show they will show you they will perform they will just show you that hey you are not taking care of me and that's one of the ways they show you that they're not happy their tips will start browning and believe me it's that small like this i don't know if you can see that it's that small like that uh come on focus 
anyway this is not focused yeah it's that small like that and it just starts growing if you don't do something about it quickly <laughs> you know yeah and before you know it you've lost the whole leaf it's just brown it's gone kaput finished love so um what do you do to prevent that oh let's talk about what causes that one of the things that causes brown tips is overwatering. you know if you overwater them they will show you with brown tips they will show you with brown tips so the trip the tips will start browning to show you mm -mm, mm -mm, that's not good we don't like that then if you see that you slow down and you see is browning on the tips yet the soil is wet then it means you need to slow down on water just slow down leave it to dry out slow down and next time try to uh not do what you did before you know what i mean yeah slow down just because it likes the soil to be moist doesn't mean it likes the soil to be soggy those two things are not the same you know and the other reason you might be getting brown tips is if you are under overwatering this 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 palm um not giving it enough water it will show you the, the tips will brown so the that's what, that's what gets tricky with them so it's never just one thing while you might be thinking oh i need to give it water it might be trying to tell you stop you've been you've given me enough too much please slow down and while you may be thinking i need to i need to stop giving it water it might be trying to tell you hey you didn't give me what enough water the last time you know please i need a drink so um that's why it's important not to let it go bone dry then it will do that it will show you you know you want to let it slightly dry out before you water it slightly not bone dry you know and um insufficient light um they love a bright lit room they love a bright a bright lit room so once you put them on a shady corner, a low light area, they might not do well there. Yeah, you'll have brown tips and all that. And yeah, you might have to move, check the space, check the spot where you've put them. If, if, if they're in a corner where they don't get bright light, you might want to move them to an area where they'll get bright light. And then you see that might, have, that might change. They might stop browning the tips. <laughs> they might stop browning. And the other thing that might cause that is over fertilizing, you know, when we over fertilize our plants, soils tend to build up in the soil and yada, 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 and it causes so many complications and issues on the, on the plant. And one of them is you will see your tips start to brown and that's it trying to send you a message that, Hey, there's too much soil in my salt in my soil. Now you can flush it down. You can flush it out. You can, the day when it's time to water it, you can have, you can take your plant to your sink and let it sit there and let water run through it two to three times, flush it out, you know, and then, yeah, you've sorted that problem out. Now, those are the reasons why you, uh what you might uh, like why would why the tips of this guy this plant these guys <laughs> brown out turn brown um is that is either overwatering or underwatering or insufficient light or over fertilizing the plant now what i usually do when i have that is you can just take your pruners and you just snip it out at an angle and you clean them all up and you make a promise to your plant if you can that i will up my game in taking care of you <laughs> yeah i say i'm so sorry i let this happen so i will up my game next time and i'll pay attention and uh, i'll be more attentive this time around and you know yeah like you can see i've got a few and i know with me with me the truth of the matter here is um i i sometimes forget to water these guys i sometimes because 99 percent of my plants 
99 except my fans but all my plants except my fans i let them go dry before i water them and i tend to do the same with these guys and sometimes i forget and i tend to do the same and then they get so upset with me and then i get brown tips but may, most of the time i try to be on top of my game with them uh, yes once in a while i do forget to to water them or to check them if they don't need water and especially the ones the small ones this one are uh, you know because it's in a big pot but these ones in a small pot they dry the soil dries up very quickly and you have to be on top of your game with them constantly checking the soil that it doesn't go bone dry uh, without you noticing it so yeah but that's what i do i just take my pruners and i snap that off and i next time try to be a good girl <laughs> and yeah but so far they're doing well they're happy like this one i don't have anything to snip on it it was just this one which i had a few to snip yeah so so far they're doing well So yeah, that's 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 what I have on um, areca palm. I love these palms. I love them, and I still want to get more of them. I'd like to get a big one. I want I want a big one for a corner in my in my lounge. I want a huge. Then I can move this one to my bedroom. Yeah, I do. I do. Leafy, if you are watching, <laughs> please. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I have for 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 us for today. I thought I'll talk about this beautiful palms um yeah the one thing to remember when you when you decide to get yourself one is they don't they don't appreciate neglect at all once you have that at the back of your mind you will always remember to to check on them yeah when you check on your fence check on these guys too when you check on your fence check on these guys too put them in the same uh, routine as your fans you know, you know but anyway that's all i have for you for today i hope i didn't forget anything i hope i was able to mention everything uh, but otherwise they are beautiful plants to have i love them they they are a statement indoor plant if you are looking for a statement to, to make a statement with a plant in the corner of your lounge or your bedroom or who knows your bathroom and you're looking for something nice and tall and dramatic this is something to go for um they're still dramatic also smaller so they're very beautiful i love them they make me feel like i'm in a i'm in a holiday <laughs> you know but that's all i have for us for today have yourself an awesome awesome day it's been good i hope you like the video please comment down below if you do own one of these and let us know i also want to learn from you how are you taking care of them and how are they doing in your home and how are you keeping them happy please share bye bye that's my son in the background